Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. Don't forget to book your place on the July 11th Gyrocopter Webstream Seminar, the link for which is in the description. In this film I'm going to take a look at Fusion Copter JK2 Nano. It's quite a unique aircraft in that it's a single seat gyroplane built from modern materials with a carbon Kevlar composite body mounted on a light dural alloy frame. It weighs just 100 kilos empty and is able to meet ultralight 115 regulations in EU countries and part 103 for ultralights in the US. Sadly for the UK market, the deregulated 115 kilo class is only applicable to fixed wing aircraft and I don't see the JK2 Nano being made available because of the unlikely expansion to add rotary wing aircraft and the cost involved in the airworthiness process for entry into the regular UK BCAR Section T category. For a similar aircraft here, you'll need the AV-18, which I covered in a separate film. See the description for a link. However, the Nano is available in the US, where for example Part 103 means that no license is required, although clearly you'll need training if you have no flying experience. And one imagines it's the US where the Nano is likely to see the biggest sales volumes. The Nano is priced around €20,000 or $22,000 in the US. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 200 kilos and performance is quoted as around 56 miles an hour maximum cruise speed with a regular cruise of around 40 miles per hour. Fuel capacity gives just over two hours of endurance and given the nature of the aircraft that's going to be plenty and power is from the Polini Thor 250DS with electric start and dual ignition with around 36 horsepower. It has a hydraulic pre-rotator and big 20 inch main wheels mean that operation off grass is possible. The rotors are easy to remove and reinstall and with the nature of a gyrocopter with rotors removed the aircraft will stall almost as easy as a bicycle in a garage. Rotor diameter is just over 23 feet and transport of the aircraft is easily done with a small trailer. The aircraft looks appealing, well engineered and from the onboard films there seems very little rudder inputs during takeoff and landing with power changes and it also looks very stable in flight. The only thing I might highlight are the caution around density altitudes with just 36 horsepower. Hot and high airfields I think will be a challenge and also the very low weight will mean some discipline is needed in more challenging conditions. But in my opinion, this is exactly the kind of aircraft that the initial sport gyrocopter market was founded upon. In many ways, the latest two-seat factory-built aircraft have lost their way with bigger, heavier and importantly expensive machines mean that many have simply been priced out of the market. Good luck to the Fusion Copter Nano, and if you're going to buy one, enjoy the pilot training and take your time with it. Fly safely.